Have you ever wondered what the ideal price is for your dropshipping products? A price that maximizes your profit margin, but still feels like a no brainer for your customers to buy. Well, in this video, I'm gonna help you answer that exact question. You're gonna learn how to professionally set your product pricing in a way that just boosts your profits while keeping your conversion rates very high. And here's what we're gonna cover in this video. How to calculate profit margins when selling using Shopify, what your desired profit should be, whether you're using paid ads or relying on organic traffic, how to use Product Explorer to find best price to your products based on success of Shopify stores selling the same or similar products, proven ways to increase your product price without hurting your conversion rate, so if you are ready to price your products like a pro, let's just dive in right now. All right, let's start with the basics. To understand your profit margins, you need to know how to calculate them properly when using Shopify, you know, as the platform for your e-commerce store. Shopify credit card transaction fees for each sale range from 2.4% to 2.9% plus 30 cents fee per online transaction when using Shopify payments, depending on the Shopify plan that you choose. But in general, most payment providers, including Shopify payments, Square and Stripe, they charge 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction for the basic plan, which is, you know, the one that most sellers use. And if you use Shopify payments and have a plan higher than, you know, the basic one, these are the fees. For the Shopify grow plan, the fee is 2.7% plus 30 cents per transaction. The advanced plan charges 2.4% plus 30 cents. And for Shopify plus, it's custom pricing with potentially lower fees. But again, the most common calculation to use is 2.9% of the product selling price plus 30 cents per transaction. Now, please note that these fees may change from time to time. So I'll leave the link to Shopify's official fee page in the description below to help you stay updated. So now that we know how to calculate Shopify's fees, let's just run a quick simulation to understand how to calculate your profit margin, all right? So let's just say that you want to sell this card holder wallet right here, correct? And you plan to list this item in your drop shipping store for $29.99 and the product cost from AliExpress is $4.32 plus $2.48 for shipping, bringing a total sourcing cost to $6.80. Now, if you're using Shopify payments with basic plan, Shopify charges 2.9% of the sale plus 30 cents flat fee per transaction, correct? So 2.9% of $29.99 is 0.86, all right, it's 86 cents. And when we add the 30 cents transaction fee, the total Shopify fee becomes $1.16 per purchase, all right, per sale. Now let's just calculate your total cost. Then we have $6.80, you know, product plus shipping, plus $1.16 Shopify fees. That's a total of $7.96. Finally, you subtract this from your selling price. So it's $29.99, right? So $29.99 minus $7.96, that's $22.03 profit per sale. And this is before ads and operation costs, like your Shopify subscription or app fees or anything like that. Now, there's also a much quicker way to understand your profit margins and return of investment, aka ROI, in a more automated way. Especially useful if you're doing product research daily, and that's by using the Zik Item Finder. Look, every time you see the supplier box icon just next to a product, like the, you know this AliExpress logo right here in this case, you see that? You can simply click it. Okay, and then the item finder will use advanced image and text matching technology to locate the same or similar product from the supplier. It will instantly show you a few things. It's gonna show you here, you see that the final profit margin, the ROI, all right, the return on investment, the current Shopify price, the supplier price, and 
the Shopify fees. From this, you just need to select the supplier that gives you the best profit margin. Ideally, one that also has high ratings and reliable shipping. All right, and before we dive into what your desired profit margin should be, if you're enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel for more top content on the e-commerce world. And also, if you want to access to the same tools that I'm using here in this video, you can try Zik Analytics for just one dollar for your first week you know give it a try and let me know what you think okay so now that we understand how much shopify deducts from each sale let's talk about how much profit you should be actually aimed for depending on your marketing and sales strategy i want to break this into two main groups okay group number one is, is basically stores that use paid ads like Meta, Google, or TikTok to drive traffic, whether you know that's all their traffic or just the majority of it. Group number two would be stores that rely mostly on organic traffic, like posting content on social media for free. And for paid ads, since each sale includes ad spend, which can get expensive, it's standard to price your product at at least three times the source sourcing cost, all right? And when I say sourcing cost, that includes both the product cost and the shipping fee. For organic traffic, if you are not spending on ads, a pricing strategy of two times, you know, 2.5 times the sourcing cost is usually ideal. But of course, there are always exceptions depending on the product, but you know, this is a solid rule of thumb to follow. All right. You know what? Let's just look at some examples. Okay. Let's look at one example. Okay. So let's say I'm sourcing this jellyfish lamp from AliExpress right here. And it costs $12.71 with free shipping. If I'm relying mostly on paid ads, I would aim to sell this uh, product for around $39. But if I'm relying on organic traffic, then, you know, I could sell it for $26, you know, maybe $33. This price range would be ideal. And also, I just want to give you a pro tip. If one of your organic posts just goes viral and starts driving massive traffic, you can lower your price closer to two times of the sourcing cost to increase your conversion rate and move you know more units and sell more units all right so now that we understand the general rules of pricing like aiming for you know 2x or 3x your sourcing costs let me show you a powerful data-driven method to potentially price your products even higher while still getting strong results but here's the idea we'll look at how much the other Shopify stores are selling the same product for, and more importantly, which prices are actually driving the most sales. Let's just stick with the same product that we talked about earlier, the jellyfish lamp from AliExpress. To do this, I'll head over to the product explorer tool inside Zik Analytics. This tool shows you real product data from other Shopify stores, like for example, how many sales a product made, you know, what sales channel they use, like organic paid ads and so on, the current selling price, and like so much more, right? So in the search by keywords field, I'm just gonna type here, jelly fish lamp, and then I'm gonna hit search, okay? All right, and then we have multiple results, all right? And let's just focus on the first five product, you know, like here, the first five products, that they are the exact matches to the AliExpress product that we found earlier. Now, let's just break down the numbers here really quick. These stores sold, you know, the lamp between 150 times and 473 times in the past 30 days. That's quite good, right? And here's the price they're selling it for. 49.99, 37.99, 38 uh, $12, $36.95, $39.97. So, what does that tell us? Well, First, these stores are sticking to the three times the sourcing cost rule that we just talked about, correct? And second, we can see now what price range buyers are already comfortable with. And in this case, you know, it's the $39, $49 price range. By using this method, you're not guessing. Basing your price on market behavior 
and sales data from real stores. Now, the last thing I wanna show you is a simple technique that I like to use to increase product price with minimal effect on conversion rate. Here's how it works. After I search for a product using the product explorer, I look specifically for stores that are selling the same product at a higher price that I was planning to. And then I analyze what those stores are doing differently, what strategies they're using to justify that higher price and still get strong sales. So let me show you an example. Let's say I plan to sell a product for $39.99, but then I notice that one of the stores selling the same product is pricing at $49.99. That's $10 more, man. And guess what? That store is also the top seller in terms of volume. The next thing that I'm gonna do is to analyze that store in depth. And I just click you know, on the spy icon, which opens the store sales tracker in Zik Analytics. And my friends, this tool gives me a complete breakdown of the store's performance. I can see that this product right here is being sold in a one product dropshipping store, meaning that the entire website is dedicated to just this product. And that's already a huge insight because it tells me that if I want to increase my price above $39.99, opening a dedicated store just for this item could be a smart move. And I also noticed that the store is using organic traffic only, no paid ads at all. And then next, what I would do is I would click here in the store URL, all right, and visit the actual website. It has a strong, engaging logo, you know, that reflects the product. In this case, it's a jellyfish lamp, it's really cool. It has a dark themed store design, so it's a different logo than, you know, I usually see, which makes the product itself pop, you know? And most importantly, the product page is packed with GIFs that just show the product in action. Really simple, but beautiful. It looks beautiful. It's a beautiful website. And it just, you know, bring it, the product to life, you know, in a way that a static image, like normal photos just can't do. So these are all strategies that I can implement in my own store to increase the wow factor that helped the store to sell this product at a higher price, you know? So use a one product store format if possible. Upgrade the store's branding with a fun cartoon style logo and switch to a darker background theme to make the light up jellyfish lamps just stand out and look more visually appealing. And then I would also include high quality visuals like GIFs or, you know, demo videos along the website and the selling page, because by applying these strategies backed by data, I give myself a much better chance to sell a product at a higher price without sacrificing conversions. All right. So this is how you use real world insights from top performing stores to boost your profits strategy. My friends, that's the end of our video. And as you have seen, mastering your profit calculations and knowing exactly how much you will learn from each sale combined with, you know, smart data backed strategies just to raise your prices without minimal hurting your um, conversions, it can definitely help you build a store packed with high margin winning products. Thank you so much for watching again. Um, keep moving forward and I'll see you next time.